8 banned and challenged fantasy books that some people do not want you to read. Now I've always been a fan of the idea of being provoked or trying to understand ideas that not everyone agrees upon, but not everyone agrees with the sentiment. And therefore, if you are a rebel like me, or you just want to provoke yourself a bit and get out of your comfort zone, then you should pick up any of the 8 books on this list. Now all 8 books in this video have been banned in the past or have been very frequently challenged and there are people out there that do not want you to read any of these books. But without further ado, let's get into it. On spot number one, we have Brave New World by Aldous Huxley. Ironically set in a world where books are banned. Now, Huxley's novel is no strangers to complaints. In 1980, it was removed from classrooms for making promiscuous intimacy look fun and it has also been the subject of frequent challenges in the US over the years. Now, A Brave New World is a dystopian novel written by Aldous Huxley published in 1932. The story is set in a futuristic world where technology and scientific advancements have created a highly controlled and conformist society. Now, in the world state, people are engineered and conditioned from birth for specific roles within the rigid caste system. Natural reproduction is replaced by the Bokanowski process and conditioning technology techniques to ensure social stability and control. Now, the society promotes consumerism, instant gratification, and the use of a drug called Soma to suppress any feelings of discontent. Now, the protagonist, Bernard Marx, is an alpha plus individual who feels a sense of alienation and discontent with the shallow and regiment society. He becomes involved with a John, a savage from a reservation outside the world state, and together they challenge the established norms in this society. Brave New World explores themes of individuality, conformity, and the consequences of technology, and the trade-offs between personal freedom and societal stability. Now, Hoxie's work remains a thought-provoking critique of a dystopian future where the pursuit of happiness comes at the cost of genuine human experience and individuality. Book number two, 1984. Now, Orwell's 1984 was first published in 1949 as a warning against totalitarianism and it was banned in the Soviet Union up until 1988. Now, Orwell said that he used Joseph Stalin, the former dictator of the Soviet Union, for the personality cult of Big Brother, whose thought police force citizens engage in doublethink, which is an acceptance of contrary opinions of the same time. And we can clearly see this concept in the iconic slogan, war is peace, freedom is slavery, which is repeated again and again in this novel. This book is definitely one of my all-time favorite books, and I would highly recommend it if you haven't read it yet. But do you also feel like there's simply not enough time to read the books you're really excited about? Because you are buried underneath a mountain of textbooks, academic papers, and endless PDFs for your studies, and feeling like there's never enough time in the day to get through all of it? Well, fear not, because I've got something incredible to share with you today. Introducing Listening.com, today's sponsor. The app revolution the way we consume academic material. Gone are the days of being tethered to a desk, squinting at a tiny text. With Listen.com, you can turn all those dry academic texts into crisp, clear audio so you can learn on the go and actually spend more time reading the books you are excited about. Now, what makes Listening.com great? Firstly, it has an automatic chapter detection tool. Now, the software will categorize the articles for you so you can instantly see how long each section will be. Now, secondly, I love the note-taking function. In any point in time during the reading, you are able to quickly add notes for important information you want to remember. So whether you are a PhD candidate or a college student or a working professional, Listening.com has got your back. The great thing about Listening.com is that it embraces the future of learning while still honoring traditional reading methods. Now you can sign up using the link in the description down below to get a free trial. Thank you so much to Listening.com for sponsoring this video. Number three, The Satanic Verses by Salman Rushdie. Now this novel faced bans and widespread protest in some countries, particularly in predominantly Muslim regions, due to its perceived blasphemy against Islam and the Prophet Muhammad. Now, The Satanic Verses is a novel written by Salman Rushdie, published in 1988. And this book is a work of magical realism that intertwines contemporary fiction with elements of folklore, myth, and religious satire. Now, the story itself follows two Indians, Jibril Farshita and Saladin Chamcha 
I'm not sure if I pronounced it correctly. Now, these two, they miraculously survived a terrorist attack on the plane over the English Channel. Now, following this incident, the characters undergo a supernatural transformation, with Jibril taking on the appearance of an archangel and Saladin transforming into a demonic figure. Now, this novel weaves together various narrative threads, including characters' personal journeys, dream sequences, and a reimagining of the life of the Prophet Muhammad. Now, the latter aspect is in particularly very controversial and led to accusations of blasphemy. Now, since this novel was published, Rushdie's life has been in peril and in 2022, he was stabbed multiple times on stage by a critic or a hater. Now, I don't have any plans to read this novel at the moment, but the fact that this author was nearly killed for publishing this work makes me more inclined to pick it up, if I'm being honest. On spot number four, Fahrenheit 451. Ironic as it may seem, given that the book burning plays a massive role in this story, Fahrenheit 451 has faced multiple censorships and banning attempts throughout the years, primarily for its vulgarity and discussions about drugs. Now, in 1967, an edition known as the Bal Hill edition censored swear words and changed drunk man to sick man. And in a similar instance in 1992, obscenities were once again censored by the school system. Now, a more recent attempt happened where the novel was challenged in Texas for going against religious beliefs because a Bible was banned and burned in the story. And then generally, this book has also faced lots of criticisms for having dirty talk. Now, despite the efforts by parents or school to ban this book, Fortunately, no one has been fully successful yet. Book number five, The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. Now, this futuristic dystopian novel about patriarchy running wild has long been one of the United States' most banned books. Now, The Handmaid's Tale is a dystopian novel set in the near future in the Republic of Gilead, formerly known as the United States. It follows Alfred, a handmaid whose sole purpose is to bear children for the ruling class in a society where women have been stripped of any of their rights. Now, Alfred navigates this oppressive regime, grappling with memories of her past and her desire for freedom. Now, this novel explores themes of power, control, and gender oppression. Now, The Helmet's Tale has been banned many times, sometimes by whole countries such as Portugal and Spain in the days of Salazar and the Francoists, and sometimes by school boards and sometimes by public libraries. Now, I read this book around three to four years ago, and while I thought the concept was very, very fascinating, I did find Atwood's writing style to be a bit dry. However, if you're into dystopian novels, then this is a must read. Book number six, Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burgess. Now, this novel came out in 1962 and it paints a dystopian view of a world desynthesized to violence. Now, this book focuses on Alex, a teenage gang leader who begins a crime spree that eventually culminates in breaking into an elderly couple's home and forcing the husband to watch a sexual crime being committed against his wife. Now, Alex is eventually caught and sentenced to 14 years in prison, but receives a reduced sentence for participating in an experimental treatment that makes him physically ill at the thought of violence. Now, by detailing Alex's ultra-violent exploits, this book delves into the themes of morality, humanity, and the involvement of free will in redeeming someone who has performed unredeemable acts. Now, what makes this novel very controversial is that Burgess has invented a Russian-inspired slang called Natsat, designed to make Alex's language even more threatening as the novel was written during the heights of the Cold War. Now, A Clockwork Orange has faced multiple book banning attempts due to its sexual violence it depicts. Now, in 1973, a bookseller in Oregon Utah was arrested for selling the novel along with two other obscene books. Now, this store owner initially faced a fine, but the charges were fortunately later dropped. Now, this novel was also banned in 1976 in Colorado, in 1977 in Westport, Connecticut, and in 1982 in Alabama. And as recently as 2019, members of the Florida Citizens Alliance have lobbied to ban the book along with almost 100 other works that depict adult fun in apparently graphic ways. Number seven, The Hunger Games. Apparently banning books is a big part of American politics, which is something I actually didn't know before I started researching this video. Surprisingly, The Hunger Games is a top ranked book on the list of banned books by the American Library Association, rising to the fifth place in 2016. Now, according to the American Library Association, this book has been banned or challenged due to its insensitivity, offensive language, violence, 
anti-family and anti-ethic and occasionally occult or satanic themes. Now, I read The Hunger Games as a young teenager and I loved it. I'm genuinely surprised to see that this book being a book that has been so often challenged in the United States and I didn't get brainwashed by this novel or at least I don't think so. <laughs> Lastly, on spot number eight, we have Beloved by Toni Morrison. Now, Beloved is a novel that has in the past been taken off library's shelves so the board could make a more thorough review of its content before placing it back on its shelves. Now, scholars say one of the reasons why Morrison's novel is so controversial is because it addresses unabashedly some of the darkest moments in American history that can be very uncomfortable for a lot of people to talk about. Beloved, for example, is inspired by the true story of an enslaved woman named Margaret Gardner who killed her daughter in 1856 to spare her from slavery. So those are eight fantastical books or books that have magical realism in them to read if you want to read some banned and controversial literature. Let me know if you have read any of these eight books or if you're planning to. Now in 2024, I have read 10 books and if you want to know my thoughts about them, then please check out this video. Oh, you're still here and you want more? Well, the good news is, is that if you want more and you want to support me, then I do have a Patreon. Now, if you didn't know, then I have a Viking book club where every single month we read one book together and you can be the one that can put the book forward. Last month we read this book and this month we're reading this book. And at the moment we are trialing having Zoom book club discussions after everyone has read the book. So also if you want to discuss a book with me and other like-minded people, then the Patreon is the way to go. Now, in addition to getting your name in my videos, joining the Viking book club, potentially getting art cards depending on what tier you are, I am also basically spending around 100% of my Patreon income to read invest back into my channel. Since I launched my Patreon, I have had more than 30 videos professionally edited. And just to give an example, from September 2023 to March 2024, I have spent more than 1500 US dollars into video editing with the aim to consistently post high quality videos for you to enjoy. It is much appreciated.